So let's move on because Kristen Doty is a self-proclaimed klutz, but you might know her better as the fiery cast member of Bravo's hit show Vanderpump Rules. Well, the star recently took a serious fall while enjoying a night out. Check it out. I'm the most powerful bitch in the world. You are Aww. nothing. I'm best known for being on a little show called Vanderpump Rules. I mean, I guess I'm known to be a little bit of a troublemaker. Some would like to use the word villain. I don't necessarily find that just cause, but I'll take what I can get. About a month and a half ago, I was hanging out with some friends. We were at a wine bar. The whole night, we probably had like three glasses of wine. I've been known to do much worse. <laughs> we responsibly took an Uber home and getting out of the car, I tripped over my shoes and smacked my face on the bumper of the car. So the paramedics did come, they did check my vitals and confirmed that I was stable. My next memory was waking up and not being able to open my right eye and being in excruciating pain. And so we went to the ER and immediately they put me on a morphine drip and then we got a CT scan. The next step was really to just let the swelling go down and to come back the following week. And at that point they would decide whether or not surgery was necessary or not. I did post some hospital photos. Almost immediately, the reactions were negative. It was like, who did you get in a fight with? Or like, how drunk were you? Or like, there had to be a fight. I wish it was a much crazier, fun, intoxicated story full of fireworks, but no. Kristen and her plastic surgeon, Dr. John Lakey, both join us because, Kristen, you're going to give us the real deal. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah. We, we really want to know because I, on the show, sometimes you're a little toasted. We really want to know, were, were you drunk? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, I'm all the time. The real culprit was this devil shoe right here. Well, the devil shoe, did you, did, you, did you get the shoe caught on something? No, literally, these are like my favorite shoes in the world. So, you know, as a woman, yeah. leather stretches mm -hmm. over time. So a single strap around the ankle, and my toe slipped out. And oh. so it was still wrapped around my ankle. Oh. And yeah, just kind of sidestepped. Um, I fell, I hit the asphalt, I caught my fall with my hands. So it's healing pretty well now, but I did have like these like giant holes in then my hands. Face sure. And then my face, face hit plant. the bumper of the car. Ooh, the bumper of the car. It really had nothing to do with the alcohol. I am the clumsiest person in the entire world. I have two left feet, I'm a baby deer. I walk into everything. I mean, literally, I want to say maybe a week or two weeks after the initial accident, I'm tiptoeing around my bedroom at night trying to find my phone charger, lift my head up, smacked it on my dresser, Ooh. had a laceration maybe, maybe right she, here. That's why Kristen's new look is actually helmet. she wears dresses where you have with a helmet <laughs> and tennis shoes. <laughs> She's ready to go I'm knee pads, be, yeah, right? This could be a new look. 2016, I, totally. I, I now, Dr. Lakey, what, what injuries did she have? Now, two weeks out, I think she looks pretty doggone good from mm. surgery. You know, she sustained blunt force trauma to one side of the face, and it impacted and fractured the bones in a fairly predictable area. Mm. She sustained what's called a zygomatical maxillary orbital complex fracture, which in mm. layman's terms, mm -hmm. essentially, she broke several different parts of the face. What it had done, the reason why it made it so difficult is because the bones had overlapped. So the trick was to take her back to surgery uh, to restore the normal width and projection of her face. Now, she's in the entertainment industry, so it makes it extremely difficult for the plastic surgeon, as you know, to hide all of the incisions. And so... We hid through tiny incisions, you know, that are virtually imperceptible, restored the bones. My partner, Dr. Payman Daniel Poor, and I essentially reconstructed the right side of her face. Well, and that zygomatic arch is so important how someone looks. Once that, you know, that area, once it's flattened, you, I mean, I'm assuming that you looked in the mirror after this happened and you were probably horrified just because your, your yeah. facial structures as you know What's it. This? Well, it was so swollen for so long, you know, right after the accident. And once the swelling went down and... I was having my checkups with Dr. Lakey before the surgery mm -hmm. happened. And it was really, I, when he showed me when I tilted my head back, I could see how flat this that side arch. was in comparison. Another reason I was so mad that this happened, I'm like, but I just got filler oh, just... in my cheeks. Like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was really bad. Well, and that's important for anyone watching. If you do take a fall and you notice an obvious facial deformity, you know, there are bones in your face, and they do break, mm -hmm. uh, particularly when your head hits a bumper or something <laughs> of that nature. Um, but as far as her long-term prognosis? Long-term prognosis, uh, you know, I, I think we shot for perfect symmetry. And, you know, there may be, sometimes when you have that type of crush injury, there is a small percent of, of crush to the tissue. And so you may lose some of that projection. But overall, as long as you can get the bony structure, 
to really be as symmetric as the other side, I think we're, we're working in the right direction. Lesson learned is I need to be a little more present. I'm always kind of thinking five steps ahead and not really focusing on what I'm doing in the moment, I think, which is why I'm so... It flexible. also highlights when you are out and about, even if you're just having one glass of wine and you're wearing your favorite pair of shoes and maybe, uh, you know, for guys, it could be tight jeans, for tight dress, whatever it may be, you are prone to fall and it can happen in a moment. Uh, Kristen, we're just happy that you're going to have a great outcome. Dr. Yeah. Lake, thank you for joining us.